today we're going to take a tour of OSRB3, one of the spill response barges that we use in Prince William Sound. So in a spill response or in a drill or in their normal day-to-day -day work, this barge and her crew of four would take spill response equipment that's throughout the deck here on the barge, skimmers, boom, and the recovery equipment that they need to do their job of collecting oil and recovering that, and they deliver that to a, a spill site or where they're going to do their drill or exercise. They deploy all that equipment into the water. They deploy it to fishing vessels that would accompany them out and that would take one into the boom system that would collect the oil. And then the barge crew deploys a skimmer into the water that, that collects the oil out of that, that boom system and transfers it onto the barge and puts it in its recovered oil tanks um, in, a, in the event of a real spill. So the biggest thing that is, is different about these barges uh, compared to the previous fleet is primary safety improvement was we moved all the major piping systems for cargo and everything below the deck. So the deck is completely clean as you can see. Uh, in our previous fleet, most of the, the significant injuries that folks had were slips and trips over piping systems that they had to step over or around or through. And so the biggest change that we made on this barge was to move everything below deck um, with a few places as much as we could. So the heart of the barge that recovers the oil out of the water is the skimming systems. So these are the result of a, a pretty lengthy effort to develop a new and better skimmer and some improved technology. And the way that they work is simple. Uh, these discs rotate through the water. The skimmer rotates in the water at about this height. Uh, these discs rotate through the water and oil sticks to the fuzzy sides of them. So I'll call them fuzzy discs throughout our, throughout our tour. Oil sticks to the sides of these. They rotate around. These little plastic scrapers up here scrape the oil off. It runs down into a trough. And then inside that trough is some big pumps that pump the oil from the skimming system that's in the boom, that's got thick oil in it, up through a discharge crane that connects it to the cargo system that loads that recovered oil into the barge. We're in the command module of OSRB3. Uh, this is really where the, the task force is operated. So you can see all the fishing vessels, uh, monitor the tug from here, and then see the skimming operations on the barge. So after all the deployment is done, booms in the water, skimmers are operational, a uh, group supervisor or the task force leader would come up here. Uh, they have really good, uh, healthy radio communications, another improvement uh, from, uh, from previous barges. So they have, uh, don't have to worry about batteries and things like that in their radios. Uh, they can communicate with the tugs, the barges, and then back to the command post. The way that I look at these barges is I've, I've done a lot of fun things in my career on TAPS, but this was probably the most rewarding. Uh, in 32 years, I was around when we built the first series of oil spill recovery barges for serves. And really this was just uh, the opportunity to start from a clean slate and implement 30 years of lessons learned. It was just uh, learn, improve, and innovate on steroids for a lot of the team. And uh, able to make a step change really overnight. And uh, you know, for a lot of things that we do, we, we see incremental change and, and it kind of passes us by. But this, this really overnight made a, made a massive change in uh, how we do our operation, how we uh, care for people that, that live their lives on these barges, really, and, and how we recover oil as well. So just a really rewarding uh, project for me. A lot of work that, that I worked on over the years with a lot of my mentors and things that we wanted to do but just didn't have the, the capability to do with, with older pieces of equipment. So really just the ability to start over, just again, the most rewarding thing I've done in, in all my time here.